Hey, welcome back to No High Beer Review. Uh, today we're doing another industrial arts beer. This one's Power Tools. It's an IPA. Um, I just did another one of theirs. It was uh, Tools of the Trade, which is like the younger brother to this one. Uh, that was an extra pale ale. Uh, that one was five point something. This one's I think seven point. Yeah, seven point one. Uh, I won't read the whole little descriptor, but it, it says uh, grapefruit and pine. Yeah, grapefruit and pine. Two flavors I like a lot in my IPAs. Um, I do like the more New England tropical fruit ones, too. I like talking to my hands, uh, obviously, too. Uh, if you didn't watch that review, um, this is a guy who came up with Flower Power at Ithaca. So uh, I love Flower Power. I love Ithaca, obviously. So I'm uh, really excited to try some of his new stuff. Um, just clip my nails. So it's opening cans of pain. Uh, let's get into the glass. Definitely getting some grapefruit rind right now already. Yeah, it smells really good. Wow. Yeah, okay, it's already smelling good. Their can art is pretty cool, too. I think that's pretty rad. Industrial art. Is that going to clear up? And, okay. Good enough. <laughs> Dead air, not a good thing. Uh, very clear, clean, um... Kind of has like a um, man. That's tough to describe. I, I haven't had a lot of beers like this lately, so I haven't had to describe one quite like this. Almost like a little dark pilsner, um, slight caramel up here where it's a little thicker, um, almost lager like. Uh, two fingers ahead, pretty compact bubbles, a little fluffy. Uh, man, that looks to me that looks great. Yeah, it's not like one of those murky. Um, you know, like turbid kind of a beers, but looks clean, looks good. Like I said, I was already getting some aroma, but let me get my face right into it. Big pink grapefruit. So it's interesting. You get definitely like the, the flesh, but you also get the actual fruit itself, the juice. Man, it, yeah, it smells a lot like pink grapefruit, very much like grapefruit juice. Um, actually, I went grocery shopping earlier today. Kind of wish I had bought some grapefruit juice. <laughs> this is making me want some. Slight pine, but I tell you why. Probably if I didn't read it on the can, I'd be saying how this is all 100% grapefruit. Yeah, it, it's so much grapefruit, but it, I, I, I do think I'm getting a little bit of pine, so I, I think that's uh, accurate that the aroma. It's probably gonna, or the taste is probably gonna follow the aroma, and as they wrote, grapefruit and pine. But definitely, this is 90 some percent grapefruit juice uh, aroma, which is a good thing to me. I hope it tastes like that. Cheers. Yeah, that's great. So. I feel like I say this a lot in my personal life when we're talking about like having discussions with people, you know, like what are the causes of blank, right? I always just kind of think of like in terms of pie charts, you know, like, well, this percentage of the pie chart would be this reason and this percentage and try to come up with like a holistic uh, explanation. This, as I said, in the aroma was like 90 some percent grapefruit. This is interesting. This is um, maybe like 40 percent rind. 40% grapefruit juice, and the like remaining 20 is actually pine. So you get way more pine um, in the taste than the aroma, at least twice as much, uh, easily twice as much. A little bit of sweetness in there. Man, this is just, you don't taste the 7% at all. I could crush this real easy. The pine is needles and sap, like those oils. Yeah, man, this is this is a really good beer. Um, I would definitely buy this again. I would definitely recommend it uh, if you like bitter IPAs. It's not like puckeringly bitter. It's uh, it does have a little bit of sweetness. The finish relatively dry though. Um, but this to me is a huge winner. Definitely a beer uh, I'm going to keep an eye out for. And uh, they're two for two for me. I, I just got another one a saison from them that I'm excited to try. Uh, but that's for another review. Uh, so thank you for watching as always. I appreciate it. 
And uh, like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.